and welcome to a brand new episode here on 1950s Farm. So as you can see, we've got the bale trailer on today. We're just out collecting some some of the uh, bale or the rest of the bales from the harvest. We've uh, we've done quite well because, uh, as I say, this is all I've got left now, which I think is the section that you saw me uh, baling in the last episode. Um, the uh, bale store from the rest of the field and the bit that's over there with the water is in the shed um, and uh, there it all is it's taken a long time <laughs> it's taken a very long time in fact uh, but uh, yeah it's, it's all in the shed um, so to give you some sort of idea of how long it's been I think that video, the last episode that I put out, was, I'm sure it was July 2nd, I think. It was either the end of July 1, so like the first day of July, or July 2. Uh, and we're now August 2, and we're midway through uh, the day. Uh, well, not quite midway through the day, but um, I started... Uh, collecting bales again at about roughly 5.30 in terms of game time morning and uh, yeah we're uh, slowly but surely getting uh, getting our way through them so we'll do a little bit we'll probably do a trailer maybe two trailers or so and then um, I, I do have some of the jobs that uh, do need doing as well because um, as I say other work has been being neglected because uh, I've just literally spent all of my time uh, in that field harvesting and then uh, baling and and then collecting. Uh, so some of the other well the other job that we uh, have got to do is we need to get a John Deere tractor onto the little trailer and uh, we will um, collect some. Uh, some poop out of the cow barn. We got some um, milk as well that needs um, selling and taking. Um, I did take the liberty first thing game morning and uh, fill the uh, feeding trough back up. Um, so the silage is slowly but surely going down. Uh, so that that's gradually going, which is good because it's holding on to our hay. Um, we haven't got a great deal in here, but we, we've sort of got enough to be starting with. I've been told by the dairy, the plan is this shed is coming down. Uh, this shed is going to come down because uh, it was once used for stacking uh, grain sacks uh, and... Uh, it's no longer required. They've taken the floor down in here because obviously it was on two levels. Uh, they've taken the floor out uh, and uh, eventually the shed's going to come down. So uh, and when the shed does come down, apparently another one of those is going up. And then one will be for straw and one will be for hay. So we have to try and get that um filled with hay if we can and I've also been told that because I'm turning one of my grass fields over to uh, to cropping uh, not all of it but uh, half of it over to cropping and the other half I'm going to put a cattle pen in and we're going to raise beef stock um, the dairy are thinking about buying this field um, and this field ginormous though it is will provide them with all of the hay um, that they need for the year uh, and any uh, silage uh, that they start to do because as I say the when I loaded the map in that silage was already there um, yeah that silage was already there so I've used it because back in 1950 um, the way that silage was made we don't have the mods that means that I can do it so I, I sort of can do silage but I couldn't do it accurately whereas by 1953 silage uh, harvesters had changed I mean they're all tractor driven they weren't self-propelled they were all tractor driven uh, but they had changed 
and there are a couple of mods that do represent what they look like back in 19 sort of anywhere from 53 to 55 uh, so eventually it's something that we can then do on the uh, dairy farm uh, while we carry on working for them harry left the dairy farm in the late 50s early 60s uh, and started to go it alone um, you know contracting was sort of taking over for him uh, raising his beef stock was you know becoming a full-time job uh, he'd taken on quite a bit of land by that point as well um, not only from the money from the crops that he was growing but also from working with the dairy um, and sort of other, you know the contract money was coming in and so by 1960 he was able to leave the dairy and in 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 the piece that i've read about him he says that it, financially it was no longer a risk uh, to 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 go out on his own and start he had a young family then as well by that point as well so yeah, that's uh, what we'll uh, be looking to do, but uh, that's a little way off at the moment. But as for today, we need to collect these bales, get them in the shed. I'm a bit worried because I don't think all of these bales are going to quite go in that shed, uh, which means we are going to have to possibly sell some of them. Uh, and I don't mind that because the dairy's got more than enough to get them through the winter to next harvest. And as well, we will be able to take straw from the soya beans um, if, if, if we want to, but um, uh, we might not. I mean, I might take straw from my soya beans or Harry's soya beans, but mine as I'm playing the game on his behalf. <laughs> um, so we might take straw from my soya beans and then sell the straw because that'll be a bit extra money. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, so anyway. Without further ado, we'll crack on and uh, we'll get, uh, as I say, we'll get a trailer or two loaded with straw, depending on how long it takes. I'm sort of acutely aware that all of my videos at the moment are bale orientated. Um, so we have got some manure that we can um, shovel out and tip. Um, as I say, I did take the liberty to feed the cows and to straw the cows as well. Um, which was handy because obviously we were taking straw off the field. So some of those straw bales have been used to straw the cows. Um, just because the cows didn't have no food this morning and I, and I wanted to keep their um, uh, their health to 100% so that they not only reproduce, but also uh, so that they produce the maximum amount of milk uh, because uh, the, the dairy farm in the mid-1950s, even to the present day uh, is a huge business that makes an extortionate amount of money um, today not just a dairy farm you know they have factories they have their own butter that they make their own cheeses their own ice creams uh, they sell all of their own milk so they're no longer dependent on supermarkets and stuff like that they 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 are able to um, sell all of their own milk uh, through their own um, shops and supermarkets and things that they own it's a uh, from what i can tell and if i've understood it all correctly it's a very big business and uh, they're doing very very well and and it started from what i can tell in sort of you know the the 1950s and has just gone from strength to strength but uh, anyway we'll do some time lapsing you can enjoy some nice music and I will see you when we change jobs or at the end of the video. Bye for now.
Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through
and I'm back. How are we all doing? Alright, the bales is done, as you saw, and a little bit of a disaster. I'm not that great at... Uh... Well, that's interesting. And the reason I say that's interesting is yesterday, uh, this morning when I was in here at 7 o'clock, the cows are in here, and now there are no cows in here. I wonder. I might have to check that out. I say when I was in here at 7 o'clock this morning, putting the feed out, uh, there was cows in there. Anyway, yeah, so we had a bit of a disaster, as you saw with the bales. Uh, the uh, forklift on the, uh, well, the, the tines don't go into the bales very well, so it was a bit of a, uh, you know, it's a bit of a sort of gamble as to whether it's going to work first time or, or whatever, as you saw, and uh, I'm making my excuses. Go along with it, please. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so I... I uh, Struggled with a couple of bales, and then I knocked on the second trailer, I knocked some off, so... Was it the second trailer or the first trailer? I can't remember now, but... Um, never mind. We've got there in the end. The bales are done. This is the last trailer of manure that I'm moving from here. Um, plans are foot for other things, and I'm going to need some uh, manure here in the uh, actual cow yard so this is the last trailer uh, just gets it emptied enough once I've done this job um, there's not much else to do really today um, on the farm so that'll be we'll end the video there and then um, next time we come back we've got a fairly big job on uh, so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes uh, we've got a few things that need doing, as I say, the um, the dairy one knocked down that shed, so we're going to have to start doing that. Um, that's going to be sort of a long-term project, because uh, back in the day, in 1950, or 1951 as it is now, you know, we're still, what, six years after the war, you know, today, bulldozer, smash it down, 1951. You take it down as good as you can, bit by bit. Save everything you can save. Reuse on the new build. Um, and uh, it's funny how in today's modern world, we're starting to edge back that way. <laughs> take it down carefully and reuse everything you can reuse. Um, you know, it's almost like life somehow in my generation has kind of gone full circle. And we are gradually getting back to sort of wartime Britain, where no one can afford food. Um, you know, thousands of people are starving, um, or tens of thousands of people probably. And everything is in such short demand, uh, short supply uh, and demand, really. I, I guess because no one can, you know, sort of the ordinary everyday folk in this country can't really afford anything. But anyway. Um, so, you know, we're probably not too far away, but yeah, so we've got a big job next episode. Um, and that, as I say, will be, uh, what would that be? Friday's episode, I think. No, not Friday's. Um, that will be, actually, that will be next Tuesday's episode. Um, so... Or will it be... Th I don't know. It might be... Th anyway, it will be an episode. <laughs> the next episode from this one that you're watching now will be the big job. I'm not going to tell you what it is because uh, it's uh, it's not a surprise as such, but it's, it's a mammoth thing and um, I think uh, people enjoy it. I think people will enjoy the, the scale of what we're going to try and do. Um, let's just put it this way. It involves that field. <laughs> that we've just taken the bales off but uh, yeah anyway <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm gonna end the uh, video here because uh, I seem to be uh, developing uh, a cold and a sore throat as the uh, day is going on 
and uh, my voice is uh, gradually going and uh, my throat is getting a bit sore as we talk so thank you ever so much for joining me on this episode i've really enjoyed having your company i hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe i thank everyone as always for the su- fantastic support and effort that you've given me and i'll see you in the next episode bye for now